Okay guys, I'm back with uh, part two for the uh, basic soldering techniques and uh, I had some problems with uh, my soldering iron. I don't know if you can see uh, all these little pebbles here. Uh, I didn't have my uh, soldering iron tin quite right and so every, every time I go to solder on my board See about focus. Every time I'd go to solder on it, I wouldn't uh, get on the joints there, and it was just beating up and uh, falling off there. So I had to uh, go get a uh, steel brush here and uh, brush the uh, tip of my iron there and uh, once I got that done uh, it started soldering just fine so I am back and we will uh, continue where I left off but what I had done is uh, I'd got the uh, the socket uh, in place there and as you kinda saw the back there for the socket uh, that's what it'll look like when you get it uh, where it's at least working right and I don't know if you can kinda see that shiny stuff there that's the uh, flux that's inside of the solder and that basically just uh, creates the uh, uh, joint there between the uh, the board and the uh, component there so that it actually uh, solders together so that's what I've got done so far on those there both sides there and that's the uh, two capacitors on the outside there and then the voltage regulator on the inside so I'll go ahead and continue and uh, hopefully I got some good close-up shots here that I can show you on uh, soldering some of these other components here really quick all I've got left really is uh, the uh, 9 volt battery connector and the capacitors, or not the capacitors, the resistors here. So if I turn around on the front here, I've got to put all seven of those in uh, these spots here. So let's see if I can get those done here really quick. Um, whenever you get them, they usually come in a, a bunch like this here. And you just pull them off individually. They, they come out really, really easy. Just pull them apart there. And you'll bend the ends to uh, fit in the holes and really just kind of take some practice before you figure out where exactly to, to bend those so that they'll fit in the in the hole right and some people like to use uh, the pliers that's why I recommended you know having the pliers here so that you can uh, bend those if you need to so you bend them and then you'll fit them in these slots here and just slide one side in one, one in the other, and you just push it all the way through until it gets all the way to the bottom there like that. And like I said, it'll take some practice until you get it figured out. And a good way to keep them from sliding out is uh, you'll actually just kind of bend the leads out here a little bit like that. But I've got it put in on the wrong side, but I just wanted to show you here how that works. But slide them in through and that's how it'll look and I'll just hurry and go ahead and put all the uh, other ones in here really quick only take a sec and we'll go from there really, really fast now that's one thing that uh, you gotta learn and uh, I, you know I kinda spaced it completely but it's a new soldering iron that I have there and I just completely forgot about uh, doing a better job on tinning it. I just kind of put a little bit of solder on there the first time around and went to go ahead and start soldering and as you kind of noticed from the first video I was having some problems with it. So that's uh, when I decided that uh, I needed to do a little bit better job on the, the tinning part of the uh, 
soldering iron. But yeah, go ahead and uh, get these in here. That's what it's looking like so far. I know this part can be a little boring watching that, but this will just give you the basic idea on how you know, you'll put a component in to a PCB board and then attach it. Now with the uh, resistors here, there really isn't a, you know, a right way and a wrong way to put the resistors in. You can put them any which way you want and uh, get them soldered in. Like I was uh, mentioning on these capacitors. Capacitors are supposed to be in in a uh, certain way. They've got a a positive and a negative side, but these particular ones do not, so it doesn't really uh, matter which side goes in which on these ones. Uh, the voltage regulator that uh, I put in, uh, it, it did need to go in a, a specific way. There's a voltage in and a voltage out. And uh, uh, this side, on this side here, is the voltage in, and then there's a middle pin which is that bottom piece. Let's see if I can grab a little pointer here. Let's use the tip of my... Uh, oop, out of focus, I'm sorry. This bottom portion here, right here, is the ground. And then this one here is the uh, voltage out. That's what converts it from the 9 volts to the uh, 5 volts, which it will work for the this PCB here for the the uh, electronic dice circuit. So I just got one more to, to place here. Or two more, excuse me. Get those in here really quick. Appreciate your patience here. One last one. Okay. Now we got that done. You'll spread them apart here. If you need to. And now comes the fun part. Going ahead and soldering. I'll grab my uh, soldering iron here, and uh, every time that you go to solder, you need to uh, wipe it down with uh, the sponge. And uh, since I've had it let it sit here for a little bit, I'm actually going to scrape it with uh, my uh, steel brush here, really quick. I'm doing it off camera. But you just scrape it, just scrape it. That's clean. And I'm going to wipe it on the sponge here. And just apply some solder. And there's a little bit of solder on the tip there. Now, go ahead and place it on the board there. You keep the solder to one, the soldering iron on one side and the uh, actual solder on the other. And you place it down and you'll touch to the soldering iron like so and if I can keep it from wiggling around here enough I'll show you what it looks like here okay so focus come on focus focus there you see that one in this corner right here? That's what it'll look like. So I'll go ahead and solder all of those uh, resistors on, and I'll be right back with you.